With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Here the question is, which of the following is an incorrect statement? So, statement 1 here is, fluorine is highly reactive. So, here, fluorine is smallest element. Fluorine or we can say halogens. Halogens are the smallest element in the periodic table and fluorine is smallest element in the second period and fluorine has outermost electronic configuration 2s2 2p5 that is one electron lesser than noble gas electronic configuration that is 2s2 2p6 due to smaller size and the outermost electronic configuration that is 2s2 2p5 P5 highly electron negative in nature that means it attracts an incoming electron very easily because of the smaller size and due to small size the nuclear force of attractions are very high that is why this fluorine is highly reactive in nature so first statement is correct next is hf molecules form intermolecular hydrogen bonding as for hydrogen bonding requirement is that hydrogen will bond with highly ne electron negative atoms highly electron negative atoms and these atoms are fluorine oxygen and nitrogen so here hf molecule in HF molecule, fluorine is present, that means highly electronegative atom, and this fluorine will bind with, as here, we can have the same molecule or different molecules in which hydrogen is present. So, HF will form intermolecular hydrogen bonding because fluorine is highly electronegative atom and for hydrogen bonding highly electronegative atoms are required and there is more electronegative electron negativity difference between hydrogen and fluorine that is why they will form intermolecular hydrogen bonding so this statement is also correct next is halogens show only minus 1 oxidation state as fluorine it is highly electronegative atom and the outermost electronic configuration is 2s2 2p5 and after gaining one electron that is f negative it will become 2s2 2p6 that is highly stable so only fluorine in the halogens will show minus 1 oxidation state and other halogens will show variable oxidation states like plus 1, plus 3, plus 5 and plus 7. For example, IF7 here iodine is in plus 7 oxidation state because iodine is much bigger in size that is why it can lose electrons much bigger in size. So, this statement is incorrect here as halogens can show variable oxidation states. Next one is halogens are strong oxidizing agents. So, strong oxidizing agents means agents that can reduce, that can reduce itself and oxidize others. Yes, that statement is correct because halogens have very high electron affinities because their outermost electronic configuration, their general outermost electronic configuration is NS2 NP5 that is one electron lesser than the noble gas configuration and that is why they are high they have very high electron affinities and that is why they act as strong oxidizing agents that means they reduce itself to gain the noble gas configuration and oxidize others so this statement is also correct and the incorrect statement here is in option third so correct option is option third
for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.